Hello everyone. Well, this parcel arrived this morning and I briefly unpacked it just to check that it was what I was expecting. And lo and behold, <laughs> it is another Mickey Mouse telephone. What a shock. But this one is a little bit different. Um, this one has the original line card. Just got a glimpse of it there. See it has the jack plug. I think they call this 505 on this particular type. The special range phones had this type plug. They did a jack plug um, called the four, 420 I think it was called. Um, this isn't a 420, this is a 505. I think I'm, I've got that information right. But anyway, as I said, I've already unpacked it. I just popped it back in the box before I went to work. So let's have a better look. I already discovered that the, uh, that the base is loose for whatever reason. But yes, the Mickey Mouse phone that I have, which is the same as this basically the I've got a few of them but the the other GPO one that I have with the dial like the GPO dial um it was quite discolored and it well it it was not it's not too bad but it's just it's not as nice as what I'd have liked so I was searching for a bit and uh, lo and behold I found this one so this one doesn't appear to have discolored from what I can tell, get a better, better look at that. This one seems in very good condition. It's a bit dirty, but it's nothing too bad. This was all, there's a line here on the other one where the discoloration was. This one seems good. And uh, of course, this one hasn't been back to the factory for refurb. So it still has the original date on the bottom there and the the uh, the lettering. So it'll be interesting to see inside this phone. Here's the original line card. It's a rounded type with a partially coiled end. Would benefit from a good clean. As you can see, it's dirty. There's the uh, plug again. I believe it comes apart, this plug, but I'm not certain on that. We'll have to say the card's quite tangled, as you can see, and misshapen, but we'll soon sort that. The uh, transmitter is the original by the looks of it, the carbon granule type. But, um, but yeah, if I get this in better light, I'm, I'm shadowing it, really. You can see... It's in very good shape. But anyway, it's because I'm doing this in natural light. But here's a look at the dial. It's just a, a usual GPO dial. It's not got a bad sound to it. Of course, a little oil wouldn't hurt anything. The hand is a little bit yellowed. But they always tend to be, I've noticed. That's the hook switch. All the decals look in good condition. Yes, it's generally generally in very good shape. So is the base as well. So I think this phone will just need a good clean up really. And then it'll be good to go. So what I'll do is I'll take the top off and we'll have a look inside. Okay, so here's the inside of the base. As you can see, it's in very much an original state. Here's the handset card on that grommet there. And the line card on this opposite one here. And of course, it has the, the little button here connected up. This would be used for shared service, so a party line basically. So of course, when you picked up the handset, you'd press that button and you'd get dial tone. And that's all still connected up. So this is very much 
as it was taken out. This has not been converted. I really love getting them like this because they're very much original and I'm a sucker for an original phone. So we have, let's have a look here. There we go and see we have 1980 there on that. So we have an original board. We have an original uh, ringer circuit there. That's a trim phone ringer. You can see that says 79 on there. So the phone's from 1980, so there's going to be parts from 79 and 80. So let's just quickly in real time, just unscrew the dial here. Pop that off. We'll have a look. There is a date somewhere on here. So I just popped off this um, mount here for the dial um, so we can see the date which is this way around there you can see it's slw 80 slash one so we have the original dial there it's got some other information on it there there we can see the back of the dial it's in very good condition this phone it's not dirty really i mean of course it's going to need a good clean like i always do with my phones but I have seen a lot worse. So that's the uh, that's the dial. So there we have the base. So um, this is a GPO version, as I said, made by Plessy. And uh, it's basically the American casing and the GPO made their own base for it with the components, which makes sense. Because of course it's being connected to the UK system and not the US system so that's that so we'll just pop the the dial back on there just for now so there we go so I think we'll just quickly have a look at the handset inside so I've just undone that screw to remove the two halves of the handset here's the the uh, the top half now, I did notice that there is a crack just at the top. You see that there where the screw goes in, which is a shame. It's, it's either been dropped or um, they've someone screwed that screw in too tight. But never mind, it doesn't have any effect on the handset at all. And that's the only damage to this phone. Um, so let's have a look at the dates. Let's have a look at the receiver. So we have 1980 on there. You can get the thing back in. There we go. And we can just see this one here. I think this one has been replaced at some point. Let's push that out of the way. You just see that there? 81. So, of course, the, that has been changed at some point. Um, but I was going to change it anyway to a electronic microphone rather than this carbon affair. But anyway, there we go. Just pop, oops, just pop this back together for now. Bit of a pain, these handsets. They're from um, Compact Phones. There we go. I'll put the screw in later. But there we have it. So a nice original 1980 GPO Mickey Mouse phone. So at some point, you'll see this again after I've um, restored it. It doesn't need a whole lot of work. It just needs a bit of a clean. Um, I'm getting the little socket. Um, block terminal for for this plug so I'll be able to keep the original line card and uh, and allow it to work as it should um, so the shared service button I will probably rewire as a um, secrecy button like I did on my other one but we'll see so there we go 1980 original GPO Mickey Mouse telephone 
Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.